Gary Champion, Psychic Medium. Once again, hopefully with an informative video for you. I've been hearing lots of interesting things, and I've tried to make a video about 16 times, but it's, it's, it's pretty explosive stuff, so I'm trying to make it less. Someone was talking about sell-off, so I'm hoping that has to do with the stock market, not my house. The uh, sell-off is going to start up and continue in the next year. <clears throat> A lot of losses, some of which can be recovered. An amateur, now is not the time for you to be investing. Um, hydrogen cars. Why don't we have cars that burn hydrogen? I got curious about that today because a number of years ago, it's been quite a while. I saw on television a Toyota RAV4 that drove right down and stopped and the guy got out and was explaining how it was running on a hydrogen cell. And uh, then saying it'd be 20 years before we would see those. And I, I said, but there's one right there. They're just regular cars that run off of hydrogen, not running off of gasoline. There's one right there. If you made one, you can make a thousand. And uh, I remember inquiring about it and getting the brush off. Well, it's not really feasible right now. We don't have the infrastructure set up. And this means we don't have to drill holes in the Earth's crust to bring up oil that's been there for a million years, uh, destroying the environment and whatever else we're doing, polluting. Um, hydrogen get out of water. Well, the conversion is awfully complicated. No, it's not, apparently. Well, you're using fossil fuels to get that, so, so we, you know, it's not really helping any. Well, yeah, you, you can extract it with solar. You see what I mean? Every time they come up with something, you can counter it. If you don't need to use fossil fuels to do it, you can put in a solar unit. Not really feasible right now. Well, it's been forever since I saw that car. And uh, there's a few of them out there. We don't really have any way of filling them up. And they're dangerous. They explode. No, they don't. No. Nope. Gasoline's explosive. Gasoline's explosive. Blows up all the time. So they have reasons. I suspect it's that we have a structure built around which we've had since forever, since oil was discovered and turned into gasoline to fuel early cars in the 19, early 1900s, that no one wants change. Change means loss of a lot of jobs, probably. New technology requires new people. Oh, but that makes sense to go grow corn Turn that into ethanol and put that into cars. It costs like 10 times more than gasoline does. That makes sense. Let's pay farmers to grow corn. We'll put an ethanol plant in the middle of a field. We'll produce it. And we have 10% of our gas is now ethanol. Government funded crap. Right? I've seen them. I lived in a state where corn was grown everywhere and those ethanol plants are everywhere, but they cost a huge amount of money to turn corn into ethanol. Which if you watch the moon, moonshiners, uh, they, they take corn and turn it into liquor, drinkable liquor, but part of it is ethanol. But it's pricey, it's very expensive convert oil to gas through fracking or, or cracking, goes up a tower and then gas, 
kerosene comes off here and diesel comes off there and gasoline comes out there. Been around forever. And that system's in place, which is comfortable. But it makes the rich richer. Going to um, hydrogen cells, a little more complicated probably. And um, they can't gouge you. Because I believe a home unit could be put in your garage that would convert uh, water out of the tap into hydrogen and pump it into a cell. You just plug it in your tank, it pumps it in there, liquid form, turns into a gas, the engine burns it. But it's a regular car. You don't have to, it's complicated. No, it's a regular car. It just needs to be adjusted to burn that instead of gasoline. Anyway, a lot of interesting stuff today. Also, uh, on the political front, Trump is stalling around keeping Biden from taking office. And um, I don't think it's what we think it is. I think, yes, he's a miserable old codger trying to uh, hurt the next administration to make his look better when nothing could make his look worse. I believe they're hiding evidence. I think they're stalling around until they can destroy enough evidence that they can't get caught with their hand in the cookie jar, which is what's happened. Money's gone missing. Someone's saying money's gone missing, misappropriated funds, uh, unaccounted for cash, uh, blah, 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 blah. It's Watergate all over again. I believe they're swabbing down the decks, covering their footprints in the hopes that no one will catch them. And that takes time to do can't be done overnight. They think they got a two week window where they can accomplish that. Three weeks, four weeks would be even better. They're closing off all these things that they used to get what they wanted. You can't run the government like a business. It's never been that. Uh, you can't run a business where you lose money every year. The federal government's run like that all the time. And they play catch up and pay it back. Business goes bankrupt, you're done. As Donald knows. Obfuscation. So, and they've got Rudy. Little Rudy's out there acting like a clown, saying stupid stuff all day long. His hair dye coming down his face, shouting crazy stuff, kind of letting us know that the monkeys are still in charge of the cage. And while this is going on, this is attracting a lot of attention, they're covering their footsteps. And they need to be aware of people bringing gifts. So when officers do something for them, don't take it. Um, I believe there's been a lot of cyber spying going on on political opponents, on foreign countries. They've, they're doing it to us, we're doing it to them. But it's not really legal in this country, I don't think. The hackers know all about it. The professional hackers that do this for a living, they're, they're aware of it, but they're not gonna talk about it. Jail time if you do. Boy, this is the metaphysical world so interesting. They're playing a song uh, that was popular, I think, in the early 60s. I can't remember the singer. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Some of you will know who it is. But that's what's going on here. He's a whiner anyway. Whining and crying are very closely related. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. It's my party if I well, whine if I want to. Sour grapes, lost. Um, hold on to that thing as long as you can. But a lot of part of it, they're covering their tracks. Yeah. 
Interesting. That's all there is from uh, wherever I'm at today, whatever I'm doing. Um, have fun with all that. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.